What's up, everyone? I'm here in Sloan Square, an upscale retail district here in London, and I'm going to be taking the underground to Hammersmith. It'll be my first time taking the underground to Hammersmith. I heard there's a lot of cool things to see there. This is the Sloan Square station, served by the district line and the circle line. I'm going to use my credit card to pay. You can use Oyster card as well to pay, which is the official payment method, but contactless payment like credit card or smartphone works too. I am going to need to take the train here, westbound. Actually, no. I think I need to change trains. Sloan Square. Yeah, this is going to be a more complicated route than I thought. Let's see, is there a map somewhere? Well, I'm going to uh, look at my phone and see exactly where I need to go. I thought the circle line would go to Hammersmith, but apparently I have to change. Oh, I need to take a uh, district line west. Okay. Westbound platform one. Circle line via Paddington. I will not be getting on this train because that will eventually curve to the north. take the district line to Ealing Broadway um, stop and Hammersmith will be along that route. This is the second time that the circle line has got me confused about London because I thought I was on the spur of the line that goes west to Hammersmith and that's the last stop. Richmond train is coming in two minutes. Can I take this one too? Let's see. I think I can, yes. Either train works, Ealing Broadway or Richmond. To the Hammersmith station. Even here it gets confusing because there's 
different branches that the district line can go in, either north or south. I wish they would split it up, saying uh, this is District um, Ealing Broadway or District Richmond, or rename it to something different, rather than both having it District. That's one of the things that the London Underground can confuse people. Different branches, like on the Northern Line, there's different branches through Central London. The circle line isn't really a circle because they extended it to Hammersmith. So there's a branch of it that doesn't go in a circle anymore. But then again, in New York where I'm from, there's also express trains and local trains and some trains that'll skip stops. So it's very interesting to experience this as a tourist. One of the things that I really like the London Underground is that it's very clean. I haven't seen a single rat on the London Underground yet, but I did see a mouse. I don't really like the Baker Loo line though because those tunnels are very old and there's not much ventilation in there. It gets very hot down there, and the stations are very deep. So far, I quite like the uh, Circle Line, Metropolitan, and District Lines. Since they're subsurface lines, Quite busy on a Sunday afternoon. Very busy train, as you can see. No more uh, seats, All, only standing room. close to the doors you got to be careful you don't trap any items in between the doors there's also a button to press at the less crowded stations to open the doors One thing I really like about the London Underground compared to the New York subway is that it smells a lot better. I don't know why, but the New York subway always smells like musk and uh, mildew. I know people like to complain about the London Underground, but I do think in general it's run better than the New York subway system. One of the things that the London Underground gets um, complaints about is that it's not open 24 hours. Only certain lines are during the weekends. All right, I think the uh, doors are opening on the other side. Yep, they are. Let's see how many people get off and on here. It's a busy station. 
South Kensington Station. Here's a station name that trips a lot of people up if they're not used to it. If you look here and you're not familiar with it, you would think it's Gloucester Road, but it's pronounced Gloucester. Oh, the button needs to be pressed here to open the doors. Another thing about the uh, New York subway as well that I wish that many of these trains on this area have is the digital route display. Here you have to look at a physical map and it doesn't update where the next stops. They do have a scroller, electronic scroller, but it only tells you so much information. And then over here, if you're only looking on this map, if you didn't know it's not central London, you'd be confused because we're already gonna go outside the boundaries now. You have to look at this, this map over here. Where I'm traveling to is zone two. So it's a more expensive fare from a zone one station to zone two. Zone 1 is considered uh, central London from what I understand.
service delay. That's their uh, daily cap there. Zone one to two is eight pounds, 10 pence. So you can't pay more than that. If you take the two more than three times, it pays for itself after the fourth time. And that includes the buses as well. poster there just show the TFL's slogan which is see it say it sorted and coming from American English we rarely use the word sorted to mean something other than um, arranging something in its place or to put it like together I think sorted in British English means to finish or to deal with it Zone 2, in Zone 2. Let's see if the doors automatically open here because we're not in Zone 1 anymore. They do. This is West Kensington. Wow, I'm just reading that poster in the back. In 2018, the District Line celebrated its 150th anniversary. It's a long time this line's been running. Court. Oh, by the way, I have used this TFL Go phone app, and it actually works pretty well. It tells you when the trains are coming, what service delays there are. I wish there was an official app like that for uh, New York City Transit. Instead, I need to uh, look at the website or look on Twitter, or now it's X, for the service update posts. 
which is rather annoying. where we're getting off. Let's see what Hammersmith looks like. Way out buses, way out Broadway. Let's go the Broadway. Sounds like a more important exit. Well, that's another thing here in the London Underground. They label it, it as way out, not exit. But the emergency exits, they'll still have it as exit, which is interesting. Cross-platform transfer, really nice. Between Hammersmith and City and District. important you use the same payment method you used when entering the system so they know how much to charge you if you don't then you might get penalized because remember they charge you based on the distance traveled as well as the time traveled Wow, this is a shopping mall we're exiting into? Oh no, it's just a small little area. Pretty though. All right, everyone. If you enjoyed this London Underground ride from Sloan Square to Hammersmith, got a little bit confused in the beginning, but I'm glad I was able to find my way. Hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you next time bye everyone take care